While well, ChemTool has said it will continue to be a good neighbor and the Severson Dells Nature Center is also answering residents' questions in the aftermath of the fire. We at the Nature Center are doing what we can to make sure that everyone's able to understand that information that's coming out. The Dells is specifically working to help the public understand the environmental impacts from the fire. So a local biologist published the findings in a blog. That blog, it shows in layman's terms what we do and don't know. One thing that is common, particulate matter or a com combination of solid particles and liquid droplets that can cause health and environmental problems. They were found above the EPA threshold every day, even eight days after the fire. I wanted to use my background in biology to basically help people understand what we're facing because the data was out there already. So all I had to do was translate it into something that more people could understand. To see the blog post yourself, head to WREX.com. The air quality samples, they have come back clean, but the EPA is still waiting for water and soil samples.